now that we're in the middle half of January, I thought I would tell you about some films that I'm looking forward to this year of 2016. Yeah, I know uh, my my action figure tour was actually filmed somewhere in October or November, but my friend had trouble editing it for a while, so it took longer than expected. But I hope you enjoy it when you do watch it, and, and go check out the animated gaming squad. They're awesome. Please. Now, the movies I'm looking forward to... I'm going to tell you about one movie I saw this year so far. Well, that would be The Forest. That was... Sort of thing. Not... Not great. But it could have been better. But... The movies I'm looking forward to would be The Boy. It looks like a good thriller. I mean, I'm sure that movie's going to have a lot of suspenseful jump scares and a lot of twists and turns. I'm hoping. The Nice Guys, starring Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, set in the 1970s. Uh, the movie is like, the title sounds like a 70s cop show. Maybe that's what they were going after. They were going after a Rockford style, the Rockford Files, you know, with James Garner. The late great, by the way. That's what that I think that's the kind of style they were going after. That the it's kind of like like what the man from Uncle was last year. You know, two unlikely allies who are forced to team up. It's kind of like that, except it's more it's more of a crime film noir like thriller than than a typical action buddy comedy thing like the man from Uncle was. I should have put Man from Uncle on honorable mentions. Why didn't I do that? Speaking of one of the men from Uncle, Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck are Superman and Batman in Batman vs. Superman. Or the other way around, or I'm just getting mixed up. Yeah, I, I did not hate Man of Steel. I don't think it was as great, but I don't think it was as bad. Henry Cavill... I don't know about Henry Cavill, but I'm... No, he did okay in the role. And ben Affleck looks absolutely menacing as Batman. He just... Just seeing him in that suit makes you feel like, oh, he could break every bone in your body. Ooh, it's scary. And we're going to have appearances of Wonder Woman and... Played by Gail Gadget. Gadget? Sorry if I butchered her name wrong. And Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. I mean, I know a lot of people had complaints about Jesse Eisenberg, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. And I think he's a terrific actor than people give him credit for, so... Fingers crossed! Anyway, that I can't wait for that. What else? So, Captain America, Civil War, I know... So many Avengers make an appearance in that movie, but it's clearly Captain America's movie where he meets Buck meets up with Bucky and Bucky get, has all his memory back, but and he has to answer for his crimes and Captain America doesn't want to betray his only friend and he has to duel it out with Iron Man and so forth and maybe the Black Panther, played by Chadwick Boswin, best remembered from forty two. Get on up in draft day. All good movies, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to see how that turns out. Can't wait to see Frank Grillo return as Crossbones. Oof. I liked him in the Captain America Winter Soldier, but he was just so good at being very menacing. You just kind of enjoyed hating him, but hate to see how he's going to be in this movie. Ooh, he's going to be good, I'll bet he is. He's going to be great as Crossbones. Frank Grillo, you rock. You do, man. Okay, those are some of the movies I'm actually looking forward to in 2014. I mean, I know I didn't name that many, and forgive me for not naming that many. But, I I hope this is going to be a pretty good year in the movies. But, like I said, let's keep our fingers crossed. Bye-bye.